December 14, 2016, Singapore. The most important memory competition on the planet, the World Memory Championship, has just begun. The slogan of this competition is simple. 30 countries, 3 days, 10 disciplines, 1 champion. In the competition hall, an unsuspecting spectator can see a lot of very different people who sit at a table and seems to take the most important exam of their lives. Some of them wearing weird devices that help them maintain their focus. In the quiet of the hall, their brains operate at maximum capacity. What these people are trying to solve here? In the three days of the memory contest, they must go through 10 competition tests. The 10 disciplines are designed to measure pure skill in the areas where memory is important, rather than an individual's knowledge on a particular subject. The World Memory Championship is a decathlon of 10 different events with 6 different kinds of information. 4 events related to memorized numbers. Two events related to memorize the order of one or more shuffle decks of playing cards. One event for memorize historic dates, fictional events and historic years. One event for memorize random list of words. One event for memorize names and faces. And one event for memorize abstract images, black and white randomly generated spots. Competitors who memorize correctly 1,000 digits in one hour or less, 10 deck of cards in one hour or less, one deck of cards in two minutes or less, achieve the title of International Master of Memory. Every athlete who reaches more than 6,000 points in a World Memory Championship will be given the title of International Grand Master of Memory. Like in any sporting competition, a record is falling every time. And in the end, will be only one hero. The Champion. The title of World Memory Champion, contested annually, remains the supreme means of recognition of memory athletes. Alex Mullen from USA is now the two-time World Memory Champion after winning the Jubilee World Memory Championship in Singapore. Because memory training is a sport, and these people are mental athletes in the true sense of the word, this competition is a true Olympiad of the brain. The mind sport of memory was founded in 1991 by the inventor of mind maps and expert on mental literacy, Tony Buzan, and the chess grandmaster, Raymond Keen. Tony Buzan said, You have a sports Olympiad which brings together people who run and jump. Why not an Olympiad of the brain, which is the most important part of our body and always will be? If you are just at the beginning of your journey to memory improvement, you definitely need to read this book. Moonwalking with Einstein, The Art and Science of Remembering Everything by Joshua Four. I highly recommend you to read this book, not only because it is a great book, but because it encourages you to follow your path to become a mental athlete. Memory is a sport in which everyone can take part. None of the top competitors would claim to be born with a great memory. All of them had learned all the necessary techniques to develop their skills and have practiced to a high level to get them to the top of the sport. You can do the same. Why not start today? This course will give you the tools to become a true mental athlete.